Hey guys, welcome to the TechSource.tv. My name is Dan, and we replaced Dave with a Phantom 820 and a Fantex PHTC 90 LS CPU cooler. So cool. Uh, anyways, Dave will be away for the next two weeks, and you won't see him to the show after that. So, anyways, on to the news. The news this week is Corsair announced a new. H100i and H80i along with the H60i, but we don't care about the H60i because it's low end and doesn't matter. Um, as well as AMD is, re is coming out or working on a new mid to high end range video card. I'll get you more info about that in a minute. As well as Nvidia is also working on a new GPU called the GK208. It's cool stuff there. And Steam is announcing, uh, well, not announcing, but the beta for Steam on Linux is now open and you can play either. Uh, a few games, and I'll tell you more about that. And one thing that kind of takes, you know, somewhat personal to me, and I think it'd be interesting, it's also, I kind of want to see your guys' feedback on this as well, is what happened over at motherboards.org, um, you know, another YouTube channel that does very similar things to us, but even though, yes, they do similar things, we watch a bunch of them, and, you know, what happened there was, I'd say, is unjust, and I'll talk a little bit about that and what happened to Elric, and about his video that he posted as well, so... Stick around, guys. Should be a good episode. So, um, as I said earlier, just about the motherboards.org kind of thing, what's going on. So, from the looks of it, it looks like Elric kind of got canned, and the guys over at Channel Pro kicked him out of his own channel that he started. That kind of sucks. And from his video that he posted, it's no longer up now at this point. Uh, there must be a reason why he pulled it down. But uh, for whatever reason that is, dude, we're I'm here. Uh, we're all, all of us here at the Tech Source. Shut up, Facebook. Shut up. Here for you, dude. Um, we know that. I know pretty much everyone. I know I saw Logan and guys over at Tech Power Up and Tiny Tom Logan, whole and even Linus and a whole bunch of other tech websites were all supporting you, and uh, you know, I get, we all feel <laughs> that. So it'd suck if um, if any of our channels got taken away from us. It's a lot of work that I know all of us we all put into what we do. So uh, keep your head up and uh, good luck with the new channel. And it looks like you already got a good following with that one. So. Um, Anyways, for our viewers, if any of you guys did watch motherboards, motherboards.org, let us know. And, uh, well, more so, what do you guys think about the whole situation, what happened? And I definitely would make, I'm definitely trying to make sure that never something like that will never happen here. So, anyways, guys, put your comments below and tell us what you think about that whole situation. Uh, just a side note here, uh, this week's episode, I'm just going to try something out. I think we're going to try, I'm going to try doing this in the future. Uh, just posting in our Facebook page, you know, when we start filming and just posting questions, maybe we can answer some of your guys' questions throughout the show in between new shots so someone said if I farted in a jar and sealed it and uh, will the smell leak out within 10 years probably won't smell after 10 years <laughs> pretty random as someone else said oh that's an old comment so that's someone else was asking about the new NZXT water cooler but uh, will it outperform the H100i don't know yet H100i don't have our hands on it I have an H100 it's broken <laughs> and the H100 uh, I not. I don't have it. It just got announced. Uh, I know some people have them. We're not sponsored by Corsair, so we don't get their products. Uh, but we are with NZXT, and we will be getting the NZXT uh, CPU coolers as well. So the Kinkaran uh, um, HX60 and X40. So, anyways, on to the next story, which is kind of goes with this. H100i got announced this week, which is their new coolers. So it's an update of the H100. Comes with a pretty new cool mounting system, which is pretty awesome. Um, over the old system. To change over if you're Intel or AMD, you actually have to unscrew it from the actual water pump, the pump, and then, you know, then you can put on your AMD one or Intel one, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, especially if you were testing systems or if you were a reviewer um, and you're testing different CPUs all the time. Now it's magnetic. You just kind of drop it on and you're good to go for AMD or Intel, which is sweet. They got new fans, uh, thicker hosing. So I think it's 3 8 hosing they're using now, and it's a smoother hosing instead of this ugly braided looking one. Uh, as I said, better fans. The rad looks about the same from the pictures. Uh, Price-wise, just flipping over back to their press release, we're looking at 120 bucks for the H100i, and the H80i, we're looking at 99 So about the same prices, H80i just comes with one fan. Um, you can do push-pull on it. And 
it's just a thicker rad similar to the H70 or the H H80 from before. It's just updated as well with the new pump. As well, it's got Corsair Link. It's got a, you know, it actually has a glowing um, logo, Corsair logo. Now, my personal experience with the H100, I've had two die. The first one, the fan controller on it cooked, and that was covered because there was actually an RMA on, like not RMA, a recall on the first batch, which I had. Now, my second one, the pump now is shot, so I actually can't even turn on this system, which kind of sucks. But I have it on just for the review. So that one is now going out on RMA. So H100 quality, so far I'm not impressed. My H70 is actually really good and still works. And um, even though I sold it off to someone, I do keep in contact with them and it's still working. So um, H100, kind of a thumbs down for me. H70 was good. But even then, at the end of the day, they're all poor man's water cooling solutions and just do a real sloop or just get a really good air cooling system because they work almost as good. Like that's only maybe two or three degrees better than these. So, which is kind of sad. But maybe the H 100i is a lot better, and as long and I wouldn't doubt if anything, the new NZXT stuff will be even better because it's bigger and more surface area. So we'll see about that when they do come out. So let's keep on with the theme of answering people's random things they're posting on our Facebook and Twitter. Uh, someone said Scott, a shout out, uh, a shout out, a, sh a shout out to Scotland. How many? Uh, just a question for you guys: How many people do we actually have viewing from Scotland? Um, as well as someone said Windows 8 sucks. And I, I agree with them. It's 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 pretty terrible, um, and Facebook is failing right now. Also, Mike, our cameraman, posted, um, "Danny, you suck at CSN. You gay." Um, Mike, screw you. You're right there, and you suck. Um, and then my buddy Andrew posted something. But anyway, someone else has said support El Elric, which we just did a few minutes ago, and as well as. Someone else posted saying they farted in a jar. I think I already said that one, so never mind. Let's continue on to the next story. The next story is Windows, not Windows, AMD's releasing a new video card. And well, not really, it's rumors. But there will be a new video card soon. It's a, it's, it's to be alleged it's going to be called a 7890 video card. Now, there's a, kind of a whole thing behind these, um, I'd say, off-numbered video cards from the typical normal AMD cards. You know, there's usually a 7850 and a 7870. Um, and then eventually AMD releases, for example, like a 7830. They've done this in the past with their cards, and they've done this in the past too, making a 90 model. Um, so this card was a few weeks ago alleged to be a 7930, and now it's being said it's going to be a 7890. So we really don't know what it's going to be called, but whatever the hell it's going to be called, it's going to be a GTX 660, a better GTX 660 competitor. It's going to be priced around 220 bucks, 240 bucks. It's going to be 15% faster than a GTX 660, and it's going to slot somewhere between a 7880, I mean a 78, 7870, and a 7950. So for that price, if it's going to be faster than a GTX 660, and around the same price as GTX 660, it's going to be a good card. And if you're looking to pick up a, a, a video card, this should be a good one for you if you're on somewhat of a budget. So when it's coming out we don't know but they're saying it should be coming out somewhere around christmas so within the coming weeks we should be seeing it on store shelves or at least being announced so fingers crossed um if it does perform good and it is priced well so amd let's see you guys pull this one up and let's see you make a good video card for around the christmas time so we have another video card story but this time from the green team nvidia um now as we know the AMD cards and the NVIDIA cards now, the 6 Series has finally fully released all their cards, which took forever. And, and AMD has had all their cards out for quite some time now, which was great. So they got to market earlier, got some more sales, helped out that, and then NVIDIA kind of came with cards later on, and they were faster because they had more time to develop. Um, so this happens all the time. Um, now, now you guys might be wondering, well, okay, now where's the new NVIDIA cards? Where's the new AMD cards? Now, we have... We have some leaked specifications from internal sources here at a NVIDIA. Um, so back in September, now it might be sounding quite a bit some time, pretty old for us, but this email was leaked and saying that there's going to be a new GK208 chip. This is going to be based off, they're saying it's going to be uh, improved performance quite a bit. It's going to be a lot better, blah, 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 all that normal jargon that they always say. Like, oh my God, it's so much better. It's the, it's the new coming <laughs> like of video cards. And uh, basically... Let's go over a quick thing. So the G the GTX 700 series is going to have a quite a few different cores. So we're saying right now, well, this is the cores we got for our current 6 series. GK104, GK106, GK107. So 107 is your lowest, GK104 is your fastest. So there's 
Three, there's this, this is how the rumors have been going on. Originally, we were saying that the GK110 was going to be the fastest cards for the um, for the 7 Series. That rumor got thrown out because NVIDIA said this is only going to be always for the uh, workstation cards. Cool. Fastest cards then, there was going to be, okay, GK114. Nope, that ain't happening either. So now, the current rumor is saying it's going to be a GK104, they're calling it. And then also, then the mid-range is going to be GK106, and then the entry level is going to be GK108. What does this really mean to you? Nothing really. Just means they're working on the new NVIDIA cards, which is both well, to be expected, and they're going to probably be out sometime next year. So, uh, if you want to play the waiting game, you can, or just buy something now because they are very fast. The current video cards, and honestly, my GTX 480 is still holding up. So for me, I don't see an upgrade point of upgrading, and maybe really for video cards, you buy a good one. You don't really need to upgrade for two to three years, and then get something really good again, and then you're good for two, another two, three years. That's how I look at it, and that's generally how I buy my hardware. I buy good hardware, lasts me maybe two to three years, and then I do another big substantial upgrade, good again. It's more cost-effective, and honestly, burning tons of money on CPU computer stuff every year, I don't really see very financially smart. So, But if you do like burning money every year on computer stuff, then you can wait for this and buy it when it comes out. Looks cool. So NVIDIA's coming out with new stuff, and there's going to be different cards. So like you're going to get your GTX 780, GTX 470, 450, 740, 750, and 760s, and all that stuff. So cool. NVIDIA's bringing out a lot of cool stuff, but I'm more excited for AMD stuff because I like AMD better. Kind of biased. So Dave's not here to defend it, so I can just say whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> Steam is coming to the Linux I was, gonna, I was about to say Mac, but it's coming to Linux, which is awesome. So if you have Ubuntu version 12.4, you can now run Counter-Strike, Team Fortress, and I think Left 4 Dead 2. So that's pretty sweet. So if you do have a Linux PC with some, some substantial hardware in it, and actually the latest NVIDIA driver update makes a huge gaming performance increase, which is odd. NVIDIA and Linux, they don't really play together. ATI and Linux is like, wow, what's up? We love each other because AMD's cool like that with open source code. Um, that's cool. So it's awesome to see now that because they're already coded for the Mac, it's not a big issue to port over to Linux. It, the code's not very close because Mac runs on Unix, and Unix is what Linux is based off of, except for Linux is the free version of Unix. It's very similar. So if you want to learn Unix, just learn Linux, and it, the code's and all the programming, all that jazz, nearly the same. So, if you want to join and get the beta and play with on Linux, um, just go over to steamcommunity.com slash Linux and check that out. So, I'm going to go do that and set up my Linux box again and go play with Linux. I haven't touched it in a few years, and um, it's a good uh, skill to have if you want to get into computers. So, check it out. Uh, okay. So, it looks like... Um, yeah, another episode's coming to a close. So, guys, thanks for watching again on the TechSource.tv. Please remember to uh, subscribe to our channel if you've enjoyed what you watched. If not, then you can go away and click somewhere else because we're not forcing you to watch it. As well as check our Facebook and Twitter page because I post and Dave posts really cool stuff. Now, Dave's not here today, but he'll be back eventually. Um, back to random things people are posting. I just told people to post stuff. I don't care what you post. I just post random things. So someone just said, oh my god, Halo 4. And on that note, I actually played Halo 4 yesterday. I haven't played an Xbox in years. I used to have an Xbox 360 and an original Xbox, and I was like, hardcore Xbox fan. I was like, oh my god, Xbox! And, um, oh my god, I freaking loved it. It was a lot of fun. I haven't played Halo in ages, and at first I was like, really shitty at it, and then... Magically, my skill came back, and I started owning face, and it was a lot of fun. So the Mac Warriors you can get on some of the maps are really cool, and uh, all the sounds is like, and just the graphics and everything is like so well polished. And it's like, wow, it's a really good game. But also, I've been playing a lot of Half Life Two recently. So I beat Black Mesa, then I just beat Half Life Two, and now I'm playing Episode One. Hopefully, by the time I'm done Episode Two, Half Life Three should be out, but that'll never happen. Um, so I'm replaying all the Half Lives. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. So here's a Phantom 820 built. The review will be out soon, probably tomorrow. This will be out late tonight, so yeah. Um, this CPU cooler, which is by Fantex, we got another one from them, is the PHTC 90 LS. Blech. It's a mouthful. Oh, you're stuck on the case, which uses a 90 millimeter fan, super low profile, painted white, looks sweet. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure, I haven't really read into to it too much at this point, uh, but it, I'm guessing this is a copper base with so nickel plated. Um, but it's nice, nice little unit, small, so it's good if you want like a quiet home theater PC and need something that's super low profile. 
Here is one for you, and it deals up to 130 watts TDP, and will mount on a whole bunch of different Intel stuff. So, really cool. I wonder if there's an AMD version as well. And we're also going to get something as well as a small low-profile cooler from um, Noctua as well. So when that comes in, we'll put it up against this, and we'll do a huge match versus match. So it'll be awesome. Anyways, until next time, guys, stick around, see our new videos that we come out, check out our reviews and other stuff that we post. So see you guys around, and I'll see you sometime next week when the next news video is out.